this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 71. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to change fenced user ID after instance creation. This slide talks about the problem and solution. So the problem scenario is we want to change the fenced user ID after the instance creation. Usually the fenced user ID is set up during the instance creation itself. So what happens if you have a situation wherein after instance creation you want to change the fenced user ID that is associated with a particular instance. For example, it, it could be some kind of a system audit recommendation or something like that to change the fenced user ID from default user ID. So certain admins <coughs> certain admins don't want to use the default user IDs and usernames like that and passwords. So you didn't realize you created the instance, now you want to change it. So how do you do that? So the solution is stop the instance use the db2 iUpdate utility with hyphen u option the hyphen u is for the fenced user uh, name so use the same db2 instance update utility only uh, only the fenced user id will be changed so actually there won't be any change uh, in the release or fix packs level like you know th they don't get changed uh, because of this instance update okay um, so as usual let's uh, get into uh, demonstration here so here i have um, db2 inst1 instance so i'm going to like start the instance i'm going to show you the level uh, you know what is the uh, uh, release level i am in and uh, i'm going to show you the db2 pd hyphen fmp so the fenced uh, mode uh, process so what is the fenced user so i'm going to show you that i'm and i'm going to stop the instance so this is what i'm going to do okay so let me just do it everything in a single uh, single go okay so the instance is starting so it's going to take some time my laptop is not a powerful one as i have already every tutorial i'm saying this so uh, okay start processing is done now you you'll know that i am in 10.5 fix pack uh, 1 so 10.5 fix pack 1 okay and you can see db2 pd hyphen fmp uh, so the user id is db2 fence 1 so you can see here so the fenced user that is associated with this instance is uh, db2 fence one okay and i'll stop the instance also okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is go to the root terminal so i, I need to go to sudo su hyphen like that okay, x u b u n t u okay so I'm, I'm going to update this instance so i have already stopped it okay there is a spelling mistake okay so after this what i'm going to do cd to that particular directory and execute the the update command so here i am updating db2 i update hyphen u zubuntu so the fenced user will be changed to zubuntu instead of db2 fen c1 for the instance db2 inst1 that is the concept okay so you can see that i have cd the command has executed and the i update is also running and it is doing that um, uh, initialization of instance and there is some four tasks to be performed as part of the instance update uh, even though here it says it's doing something like my release pack or my release or fix pack level it, it's not going to be changed so I, I can show you that as well so I'm I'm using Express C edition though so I, I have not really tested this out in an enterprise edition uh, mode or using enterprise edition software so uh, hopefully it shouldn't be an issue okay now I'll, I'll show you that log file also it, so that it is successful and you can see the log file also for for more details if you want okay like it says smtp server has not been specified that is fine i never specified it so you can see here see the fenced user information got changed okay so it's all done so no errors so i can exit from this terminal okay i'll go back to my uh subuntu terminal like uh, the db2 inst1 terminal and I will run the same thing again. I am going to start this again. Okay. So we have updated the instance. So I am going to do the same thing. Start the instance and look for the level information and the, uh, sorry. So I have, uh, see here, fenced user got changed. So I have started the instance. The level information 10.5 fix pack 1, it is not going to get changed. And the fenced user though, it got changed to zubuntu so the the associated the stop is also done so the associated fenced user with that particular instance is changed now okay so that's the whole point of this tutorial uh, hope you like this tip 
please subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash db2 lulu academy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye